Uh, <laughs> my name is Sakrina Martin, and my presentation will be on butterflies. I chose to do my presentation on butterflies because they're my favorite animals. And um, my friend, she asked me what it was, and I'm like, they're butterflies. She said, that's stupid. Why would you want a butterfly to be your favorite animal when they're just going to live over summer? I'm like, why would you question my dreams like that? I love butterflies. They're spiritual now, beautiful. I have one tattooed on the back of my neck. And so I just did research. How long do you think butterflies live? Five years. Thank you. <laughs> no, um, it's a popular belief that butterflies have a short lifespan. However, butterflies in their adult stage can live from a week to nearly a year depending on their species. Everything else I'm going to talk to you about are the four stages of a butterfly, the different types of a butterfly, why butterflies are essential to our environment, and just a couple of fun facts and my references. The first stage of a butterfly are the eggs. Butterfly eggs are protected by a hard, rigid, outer layer shell that are called the chernion. And the chernion is basically a thin layer of wax that prevents the egg from drying out before the larvae can fully develop. The second stage of a butterfly is the caterpillar. Butterfly larvae or caterpillars consume plant leaves and spend practically their whole life just searching for food. And I found this caterpillar outside of the The second stage, the third stage, sorry. The third stage of a butterfly is a pupa. To transform the miniature wings visible right here is the pupa or the chrysalis. And outside of that is the wings. It's the chrysalis, but the wings is wrapped around it to protect itself. The fourth stage of a butterfly is an adult. And they sexually mature at this stage, and it's called an amigo. And I just have a short video that just shows how um, a butterfly basically births. And when a butterfly comes out, it has to expand, and it's wet, so it has to like flap its wings. It cannot fly within like the five minutes that it's like birthing itself because it has to expand its wings and then get all of the wet off of them so they can fly. There are six different types of butterflies. And right now I'm just going to show you the pictures and explain to you on the other side of the hill. Right here is the skipper. They're called skippers because they hop from flower to flower. The gossamer wings, they're particularly small butterflies. They don't get any bigger than that right there. This is a metal mark and you'll find it in a Rio Grande Valley. You won't really see it around here. The swallowtail, there are appendages right there. This is right there. That's um, it grows out longer. Like it's on the skipper, but it, they're mostly known for that. The brush footed butterfly right here has like all brush footed butterflies have like a lot of orange in their wings. And the white and sulfur butterflies are mainly saw in like cabbages, plants, and stuff. Gardens, I'm sorry. Why butterflies are essential to our environment? Just like the, um, they also help pollinate, just like bees help pollinate, and some researchers indicate that some of our natural endangered plants are specifically pollinated by butterflies, and the butterflies will be lost without that. And then butterflies are, um, sorry, they're known to balance out our ecosystem. Like the way they, you heard of the butterfly effect, the movie, it's their wings, like just the flap of a wing, it really does have an effect on our earth. And they're beautiful and they make like, they make your environment look more healthy and beautiful. Fun facts, only have like a few. 
A female lays from one to 400 eggs, but some lay many more. Butterflies have been observed at over 7,000 feet off the ground. Migrating butterflies use the prevailing winds to supplement their own flight and have been clocked at over 50 million miles per hour for extended periods. So they use the wind to fly. So the stronger the wind, the faster they fly. So I've told you about the four stages of a butterfly, the six different types of butterflies, and why they're central to our environment. Thank you.